This clip is brought to you by Mindboard. When you start off, like, because again, I think this is a really good thing. Um, when you were starting out, what are some things that you think that people should try to be focusing on in their first few years of jujitsu? Because you see a lot of people, like I remember when I was a white belt, things just didn't make sense. You just keep going and going and going. So what advice do you typically give white belts that you teach? Just, just hold on and just survive for like six months. For me, I was like miserable. I didn't know anything that was going on. I felt so stupid and lost. And then I remember something happened where it was right around six months. And I remember after training, I like got and sat in my car and I was just like, okay, like I get it. Like I'm starting to get it. Like I just understand what's going on now. Like yeah. you don't know what's going on for six months. So you just have to keep showing up for six months mm -hmm. and then you'll start to get it. And then you'll start seeing like, you start to kind of see the game that's being played. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I did want to ask you guys about that, like specific training stuff. Cause like there's times where we'll do like scenario things, but it's like, man, I don't even know if I'm ever going to be in this scenario. <laughs> Uh, so my question is like even watching like your Instagram like I, I love checking out like the uh, the somewhat tutorials that you put on there They're a lot of fun to watch, but I'll be stuck inside control and I'll be like Oh Mason did this one thing where he slid under like nope, that's not gonna work for me So my, my question is like in regards to specifics like scenario training versus like just rolling Do you think there's a time and a place for both or as a newbie? Should I just be focused on like just literally getting mat time and doing rolls? How, how long have you been training for officially a month? Yeah I think you should be doing only specific training. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I think you should do like 90% specific training. Mm -hmm. Why? Because, Why? Um, okay, so you learn the move of the day. It's a sweep from close guard, right? Mm -hmm. And then you guys do live rounds. <laughs> and then you're just going to do this because you don't know any jujitsu. So why not go and do the whole training in close guard and try to perfect that one sweep in that one position while well, that's what you worked on today? Got it. Yeah. That makes a lot, a lot less uh, variables to deal with too, like uh, guys getting hurt and being super sore and stuff. I, ima I imagine you guys are talking about like just training a little bit more from the ground and from certain positions. It would right? be like it would be like if you were working with a lifting coach mm -hmm. and the lifting coach gave you a 45 minute seminar on how to perfect your bench. Right. Or let's say you're coaching me. That's more likely, right? <laughs> you're coaching me on bench. We just we just studied for 45 minutes all these details about how to bench. And then we go and work out, and then we run on the treadmill. <laughs> Why would we not bench that day, right? So if you're going to learn the technique for that position, you should work on that position as well. So and, you can put it into application. And you still think even though, uh, we'll, we'll say in closed guard, um, even though like maybe I might not find myself in that position that often early on, you still think that it's still good to focus on just that one scenario? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's usually the counter that I have to like some of the like the move of the day, which is like an, an arm drag or something. I'm like, I'm not even going to, you know, I can't even get there yet. So like this is cool and all to learn because someday I might be able to put it together. But you're right. As soon as it's like, all right, now we're going to go into the roles and practice what we learn. It's like, well, fuck, I'm just going to try to go for my weak ass sweep that I usually try to muscle anyways. So that does make sense. But the, my counter was just that I might not find myself in that position anytime soon anyways. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. It's like... Uh if you're, like if you're playing chess, um, you, you, first, before you start moving the pieces around, you have to learn what each piece does, right? So that's the first thing. Learn all the what all the pieces do, mm -hmm. how you can move all the pieces, and then go and play the full game. Got what it. you're saying makes sense because mm -hmm. it sounds to me like that's the safest, probably most effective way to get a lot of mat time considering like the athlete and them getting hurt and sore and everything. Because if you kind of just start to roll... <laughs> you're gonna get injured you don't know any moves yeah what are you gonna do you're gonna do just bad jujitsu yeah. you know hey guys if you like this clip go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it all right share this with a friend make sure to subscribe to the channel and also we are on reddit and discord all that's down below all our sponsors and everyone that supports us down below there too so you can get whatever you like from us all right peace